Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's Two Minutes of Anatomy, I am going to discuss the rhomboid minor and the rhomboid major muscles. The rhomboid minor originates on the nuchal ligament and the spinous process of vertebrae C7 and T1. It inserts into the medial border of the scapula adjacent to the scapular spine. The rhomboid major is inferior to the rhomboid minor. It originates on the spinous process of vertebrae T2 through T5. It also inserts on the medial border of the scapula, but it inserts just inferior to the scapular spine and all the way down to the inferior angle of the scapula. These, both of these muscles are innervated by the dorsal scapular nerve, and both of them work together to retract the scapula and to rotate the scapula downwards. So the concentric action of the rhomboid minor and the rhomboid major is scapular retraction and downward rotation of the scapula. Again, the rhomboid minor is superior to the rhomboid major. The rhomboid minor originates on the nuchal ligament and on spinous processes C7 and T1, where the rhomboid major originates on the spinous process of thoracic vertebrae T2, T3, T4, and T5. And both these muscles insert on the medial border of the scapula. The rhomboid minor inserts adjacent to the scapular spine, and the rhomboid major inserts just inferior to the scapular spine and all the way down to the inferior angle at the medial aspect of the scapula.